I just want everyone to know that I recorded this entire video already. And the entire time, the microphone was unplugged. Hello everybody, my name is Sydney and welcome back to Sid for short. Uh, today's video is going to be a pretty brief one, so I won't bore you with a long introduction. Let's just jump right into it. So I went to see Megan yesterday and I am changed to say the least. I came for the dancing and I stayed for the spontaneous cover of David Guetta's Titanium. This is me. <laughs> this is me before Megan. I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose, fire away. I don't think I expected to like Megan as much as I did. Going in, I was really worried that it would be formulaic and predictable, and it was, which is to be expected. Cinema's fascination with creepy dolls and technology gone rogue is not new. But what saves Megan from ending up next to Annabelle in the discount bin at Walmart is what can only be described as flavor. The script for Megan is just chef's kiss. If you had told me that this movie began as an SNL pitch, I would believe it. The Megan doll itself feels fresh and new. She was so entertaining to watch, and I think Jenna Davis's voice fits her look and demeanor perfectly. Say you'll never ever leave from beside me, cause I want ya, and I need ya, I am down for you always, Katie. Pair that with Violet McGraw's portrayal of Katie, and you've got a recipe for an iconic duo. They needed way more screen time, both together and as individuals. I could watch a whole movie of them talking back to Gemma, honestly. The adults of the movie were great, but I found the less outlandish adults really boring and unmemorable. I really wanted the film to just completely lean into its satiric nature. Characters like the wacky boss and his assistant worked really well in the environment of the movie, and moments where Gemma would interact with her neighbor and the granola mom were a 10 out of 10. In short, Megan succeeds because it's absurd. The dolls dancing and singing never once fell out of place, which is a testament to how well they crafted Megan's personality. I never felt like the movie was trying to get all iRobot on me, and the times where they'd toy with the momentum to add new information supported the content of the movie really well. It was all very purposeful and smart, making it a digestible experience all around. With a stunning debut at the box office and a 93% Rotten Tomato score, I think Megan has the potential to become a horror classic, joining the likes of Chucky and the Scary Movie franchise. So okay, let's talk sequel. I don't know how they're going to bring Megan back in the next couple of years, but they absolutely have to. It's not a request, it's a demand. And given the success of the movie, it's also inevitable. Since at the end of the film, Megan is seemingly destroyed, I struggled to even entertain the idea of a sequel at first. But then I remembered the guy who stole all of Megan's software off of the company database. It'd be so easy to expand on that plot point and then play with the idea that he had already sent the information to their rival company, who's currently working on a whole slew of Megan dolls. But of course, they'd all have to have their own different names, like Trina or Molly, with their own iconic voices, like HRH Collection and Jojo Siwa. We'd also have to tie up some loose ends that our current mega movie left us with. Does the entire world now know that Megan is a murderer? Are people in this universe throwing away their series and Alexas as we speak? The questions and possibilities are endless, but all I know is I'll have my butt in a seat for whatever Megan is stirring up next. <laughs> Overall, Megan was a big hit for me. It excelled in a way that I didn't really expect it to. It remained true to itself, which is something a lot of horror movies fail to do these days. That's it for today's video. Um, if this review somehow makes it out of the black hole that is my YouTube channel, please feel free to leave your thoughts on Megan down below. Also, before I go, thank you to everyone who supported my last commentary video. I was really excited that people enjoyed it. And if you haven't seen it and would like to, I'll link it in the description. With that, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.